Hello everybody, in this video we're going to look at the concept of random numbers. Alright, let's get going. So the first concept we're going to learn about is the concept of random numbers, and this just means you need a number, but you don't know what it is beforehand. And you'll use this concept anytime you have to simulate rolling dice. Did she make that free throw? Did he get that hit? This is all done with random numbers. And the second concept we're going to learn about is importing modules. And all this is, we're going to take somebody else's code and use it. Here is how we put this into place to bring in another code. We're going to use the import. The code we're bringing in is random, and that's what goes next. So import random means we're bringing in random. This is also called importing modules. So the way we're going to use this is to go variables equal to random something. So in this case, we're going to save it to a variable, so we have variable equals. In this case, my variable is number. We have the random, which matches the name of the module we're importing. Then we need a dot. Randint is the command within random. And for this particular one, we're going to have parentheses. And inside the parentheses, we have two numbers. The first number is the lower range of the random numbers. And the second number is the upper range of the random number. And these are both integers. So at about this point, you may be wondering, but why, Dr. Wu? Why are we doing this? Well, according to the internet, there are 240,000 Python modules. On my computer, the, one of these modules, the SQLite 3 module, is 150,000 bytes. So if I multiply that together, that would be 36 gigabytes. If I loaded every single Python module, every single time I ran Python, that would be 36 gigs. And that's huge. That's bigger than most people's hard drives. So that size is why we load modules. We try to keep Python small so it can run on any machine and load quickly. So here it is in action. At the very top of the code, I want to have an import random. Whenever I import, I want to always put that at the top. This helps me organize my code. If I'm looking for something, I'll always know my imports are at the top. Then I'll set a variable number is equal to random.randint with the parentheses, and inside I'll make a 0, comma 2. So this will pick a random number between 0 and 2, including 0 and 2. And if I run it, a lot of times you'll see that's what happens. Now these things inside the parentheses, these could also be variables. They don't have to be straight hard-coded integers. They could be variables. Right here, I'm doing exact same program from 0 to 2, and you see it works just the same. It's giving me random numbers between 0 and 2. Random has a lot of other functions that it can do. I can Google Python random and look at the documentation online, and it'll tell me. For instance, if I want a random number just between 0 and 1, I can use random.random with the parentheses. I'll show how that works here. Again, the control slash does the commenting for multiple lines. So here I'm making number equals random.random parentheses and printing that out. And when I do that, you see it's giving me numbers between 0 and 1. Again, as I said, there are other ones. Random.choice picks a random item from a list. That's another useful one. There it is. So common mistakes. For the most part, people get this, so I'm going to skip this section. Just be sure you get these numbers inside correct. All right, here's the lab. There's just one this time. I know you can do it. Pause the video. Give it a go. If you happen to get stuck, then come back here. All right, so in this lab, we're asking you to import random and then calculate a random number between 0 and 8 and then print that out. We have a starter code here. All you got to do is copy that. Remember, if I want to bring in an external code, I do import. The code I'm bringing in is random, so import random. Then I go number equals random. That's the code I brought in. Dot randin is the code within random that I'm calling. And then 0 to 8 is the range. And when I print that out, it gives me a number between one and 0 and 8. It gives me a number between 0 and 8. And you should run this a number of times just to be sure it's giving you really, truly a random number within this range. All right, so that's pretty much it. Hope that was useful to you. And if it was, please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.